hello guys in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to compile uh, two different source code of different format for example C and C++ file together in order to begin with you should know how compiler converts your source code into executable code so for that you should understand the compiler stages basically we have four compiler stages or you can say more than that the first compiler stage is called preprocessor here all macros and header files will get expand then compiler will con uh, convert your high level code into assembly code that is called low level code then assembler will convert your assembly code into object code this object code basically it will contain all machine level instruction then linker comes to picture the role of a linker is to link all object file along with other dependency and to create executable code so in this tutorial I'm going to use GNU compiler I have installed G++ and GCC compiler GCC uh, is used to compile .c file whereas G++ is used to compile uh, .c as well as .cpp file since I have a combination of both .c and .cpp file I'll be using G++ compiler so let's get started let me create here a basic folder structure so I'll create three directory include bin and source so as you can see I have created three directory in source I'll create my all source file so let me create uh, main.cpp since the it is of type dot cpp I'll include standard headers or standard library let me include my main function let me print something here I'll print as usual hello world then let me call relay function same way I'll call LED function since the return type is of type int I'll return 0 okay let me include two header files relay.hpp and alay.h these two header files I haven't created yet but I'll be creating soon so I have created my main source file let me create other two dependency .c and .cpp so vertical split create relay.cpp in uh, relay.cpp I'll be defining these two functions so since .cpp again same procedure declare standard library I will stream include relay dot uh, HPP let me define my relay functions and let me print relay is on same thing for relay off
I'll define LED function in LED dot C. Since it is of type dot C, I'll include standard library that is stdi o dot h and my headers. Let me define sim so instead of C out I'll use here printf LED is on So as you can see, I have created my source file main.cpp, led.c and relay.cpp as we want. So let me declare all files, uh, let me declare all functions in header files that uh, I'll uh, include in include directory. So let me go to include directory and I'll be creating led.h. These are called uh, file guards which will make sure that your uh, header files get included only once into your source file. So let me declare LED functions. And let me end file guards. Same way will write header files for relay.hpp so let me copy everything as it is and using some vim command I'll replace led as a relay same way I'll replace function LED as relay if you see I have created header files also now we have our uh, source file along with dependency now using first command I'll tell compiler to compile my source code and convert it into object code so I'll go one directory back and uh, now I'll tell my G++ compiler to compile source code so uh, basically we will compile relay.c file first I will tell compiler to go to source directory and include relay.cpp and create object file into bin directory as relay.o oops ok we got error this error is telling us that compiler couldn't able to find relay.hpp header files so I need to tell compiler where uh, where uh, I have kept all my header files so same command using minus I option I'm telling compiler to include all header files from include directory boom and if I do ls bin you can see I have created object file successfully in bin directory so same way we'll create the object file for other source file as well so let me create for main.cpp and I'll name it 
name it as main dot o. Uh, oh, no file or such directory. Okay. Okay, so let's go to CD source and open main dot cpp here. Okay, this is the error. I need to remove this and then just and go back to where I was and just ls bin. So if you can see, I have uh, successfully compiled my source code. So let me create a for led.c as well. So as you can see, I have created all my object files. Now using second command, I'll tell compiler to link all these object files along with other dependency and create the executable code as main.executable. So let me tell compiler to link all object file which is there in bin directory. So just go to bin directory and then link all .o files and create output in same directory as main. So if I do ls and if I go in bin directory you can see I have created my executable file successfully. So let me run my main file and you can see the results. So guys it is very easy to compile one or two source file by executing manual, co uh, manual command. But when it comes to multiple file, it is very difficult to do it. And also there is one disadvantage. Suppose uh, if uh, I go one directory back and if I do any changes in my any of this source code, then if I forget to compile any one of this file, then my changes will not reflect in my executable code. So that is the biggest disadvantage of executing command one by one. In order to prevent this, you can use make utility, which will compare date of input file with date of output file. If both are not matching, then it will compile file which are modified and it will produce executable once again. So that's it for today guys. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Stay tuned for my next video in which I'll show you how to write make file. Thanks once again. Have a nice day. Bye bye.